Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. As you can see right here, Bitcoin is crashing massively to the downside and about to reach our price target here. No, that is obviously just a joke. I inverted the chart here. So we are actually still breaking out from this cup and handle pattern on the one day time frame, pumping massively to the upside. And we are pretty close now to actually reaching our price target of 80,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. This is a big level that I'm looking at, this 80K level. We have been looking at this over the past couple of weeks, ever since we broke out here at about 66K. This has been the price target the entire time. So unless we invalidate this by trading below 66.5K, my base case here remains the same, that eventually we are going to reach this 80,000 US dollar level. And continuing on this higher time frame here, now taking a look at the one day time frame for this descending channel pattern. Obviously, we are still just breaking out to the upside. So, yes, this has been the base case the entire time. Chop in this range for a couple months, break out to the upside, make new all time highs. And yeah, this is just playing out nicely. So long as we hold above this previous all time high here, this is at about 73.5K, roughly speaking. This is just extremely bullish. And yeah, we should expect this to continue here. Again, if we really get some weird move where we get a big move to the downside, cutting below these previous highs, then yeah, we can start talking about uh, perhaps a short term move to the downside. To me, still, it would not be a full on like reversal signal or anything like that. I think it would be way too early to start talking about that. So for now, there's simply no reason to be bearish in my personal opinion. And of course, I am talking about the higher time frames because anything can happen on the lower time frames. For example, if I take a look at this four hour time frame, yeah, like this was a short term downtrend on the lower time frame while we were having that massive bullish momentum. So again, Make sure to understand the difference between the different time frames. Sometimes I am bearish in the short term, but I'm still bullish on the higher time frame. So make sure you do not get that confused. I would say for now, though, um, yeah, what we have just seen on the four hour time frame is that we just broke out above this 2.618 Fibonacci level, sitting at about 74.9K. After that, we came back down, retested this, and flipped it into a level of support. Now bouncing from there, this is another bullish signal for Bitcoin. The next Fibonacci level to the upside here, which could act as a short-term level of resistance, is this 3.618, setting at about 78.5K. Now, another thing I actually wanted to discuss in this video on the lower time frames is people talking about bearish divergences, like this one, for example. A bearish divergence is when you have higher highs in the Bitcoin price and lower highs in the RSI momentum indicator. And typically this points towards a break from all of the bullish price action that we have been seeing. So either in the form of some choppy sideways price action or perhaps even some bearish momentum in the short term. Now, yes, even though people are talking about this, I do want to give a fair warning signal with regards to these bearish divergences because these bearish divergences they can get invalidated very easily and the thing is like you cannot only rely on one bearish divergence if that is the only bearish signal that you are seeing if everything else is extremely bullish then be careful looking at those bearish divergences and thinking like yes i'm i need to short right now with big leverage because i see this one bearish divergence Things like that can get invalidated very quickly, right? So sometimes you get multiple of them in a row. So for example, you would have a bearish divergence like this. It gets invalidated after the price trades above either this trend line or the RSI breaking out above the trend line, right? So then you would have to take your trend line, move it up to this new high that was created or perhaps this new high. And you can basically keep doing this over and over again while you are in this uptrend until eventually one of them plays out and you get like some choppy price action or like i said some bearish momentum in the short term now why am i talking about this first of all because i want to show you objectively everything that is happening in the charts this bearish divergence here has actually confirmed with these three red candles here back to back on the four hour time frame although at the same time it is now very close to actually being invalidated that is just something to keep in mind and something that I wanted to warn you guys about. Now, besides that, on this four hour time frame, looking at this RSI momentum indicator, we are still in overbought territory. Perhaps over the weekend, we can get the markets to kind of slow down with this RSI resetting a little bit by, like I said, either the price 
chopping sideways a little bit or perhaps getting that bearish momentum in the short term. But again, I want to make it very clear that on the higher time frames, I am still simply bullish here. And actually, now that I hear myself saying this, let me just specify why I keep repeating this over and over again. It's because I get comments every day saying that I am a bear. I, it's unbelievable to me that people look at my videos and then conclude that I am bearish. I think the cause is because we were in this short-term downtrend here and I shared a bunch of the short positions that I took on these moves to the downside here. And I was saying during those videos as well, you can go back and look at them. I was saying like, so long as we don't undercut these lows, I am still bullish. And I kept saying that over and over again, but maybe people just didn't watch that part of the video or something. And they only heard me talking about bearish momentum on the lower time frames, assuming that I was like bearish and thinking we needed to go to 40K or something like that. I have no idea. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. I would love to hear it. Uh, if you think I have just been bearish this entire time. Either way, now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map, first of all, on this 24 hour time frame. Right here, you can see that we just took out a big level of liquidity to the upside, about 50 to $60 million worth of short positions that got liquidated at about 76. 0.7k and right now on this 24 hour time frame most of the liquidity is to the downside sitting at about 74.4k for the bitcoin price so if we now actually start to get some short-term reversal signals in the charts then you could look towards this 74.4k level as an area of interest that potentially the bitcoin price could get attracted to and notice how we could even come all the way back down here to grab that liquidity without trading below this critical level of the previous all-time high. So just technically speaking, yes, it is possible. But like I said earlier in the video, if you look at this uptrend, just be careful if you're trying to open a short position right now, right? Because this is insane bullish momentum, like crazy bullish momentum, guys. We're talking about like a 15% move in about three days and today isn't finished yet. So therefore be careful with trying to short upwards momentum like that. I would not recommend it, but of course I'm not a financial advisor. So do whatever you wish. Either way, taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today. Yesterday we saw a net inflow of about $600 million, which at this point, if we just look at the past like three weeks or so, I would almost say it's like business as usual because we have seen nothing but massive, massive inflows into these Bitcoin ETFs every single weekday and of course so long as they keep getting these massive inflows it will continue to have an upwards pressuring effect on the bitcoin price but even though things are good right now we need to keep an eye on the bitcoin charts and these bitcoin etf flow tables every single day just in case the situation changes because crypto is changing all the time and therefore we need to keep our eye on the ball even when things are going well, right? So this has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of these important update videos. But regardless, if you do end up subscribing or not, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.